Hello, welcome. It's another Saturday morning. We've got three guests. We've got one new guest. I'm Coach Newton. Really excited to see you here with us today. We've got 144 back again. We've got V since day one. He's a veteran broadcaster now. And our new guest, Super Coder. Welcome. You guys want to say hi to the crowd? This is your chance. Say hi. So today we've got some fun. I'm going to get right into it. So those of you on the live stream, uh, welcome. We are using scratch.mit.edu. So um, that's the website you want to be on. You definitely want to be logged in. Uh, uh, Super Coder, you got any hints for people? Uh, what have you... What do you do? Do you save your password for logging in? Tell us what do you what do you do for Scratch? Because you've had multiple accounts, right? Uh, well, I had multiple accounts. Um, wait, you, you ask me how do I keep my password safe? Yeah, yeah. How do you make sure oh. you're like you you've got you have it saved? Right here. Oh, don't right show us. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's a great idea. Yeah. I know because uh, we talked about lost, lost passwords, right? That's great. Yeah, welcome. So hopefully everyone gets logged in. And um, 144, did you want to give us a quick the theme for today? Memory test. Um, I think our theme for today is... Um, wait, it is, um, um, about Poster, wait, Patrick, George, Gabe, Juan, and Zultain for Wildlife Day, so it's wild, it's probably for Wildlife Day. Yeah, World Wildlife Day, good, good deduction, I like that. Yeah, they are the artists that contributed a lot of the art that, on the projects we'll be using today. So World Wildlife Day was just this past Wednesday, March 3rd. So uh, I actually contacted the artist and said, we're going to be using your art in our project. So uh, if you create with some of their artwork, which we'll be doing today, I put these in a Scratch uh, code launch project. Uh, I'm going to share that with them and see if they give us any feedback, what they think, because I think it's pretty, pretty interesting. So that's our theme for today. I'm going to go over a couple things um, so V, did you want to read? So this is a nice little summary from World, the World Wild, Wildlife site. Um, give us a little rundown on that, the theme. So like the theme is like taking care of our forests and um, like how to take care of your forests and why we should take care of our forests and like plants and animals throughout the world. Awesome. That's right. So it's definitely important to think about the forests are tied to the indigenous people that live there and the ecosystems, which is uh, the biology of the area, but it, it sustains people living there. So that's that's one of the key things. I'm going to play a really short video. It's one minute um, while, while we kind of get started on this. I think uh, you'll enjoy this. This is also from the World Wildlife Day um, site. Forests are our home. We share it with the most diverse and beautiful plants and animals. There are millions of us around the world calling forests home. Forests and forest species provide for us. They give us everything we need from food to fresh water and medicines. For thousands of years, forests have cared for us, and we have learned to care for them too. Join us in caring for our homes and all the communities who rely on them. This World Wildlife Day, let us celebrate forests, forest species, and the countless human livelihoods they sustain. Uh, 
so I, I know our co-hosts, sorry, they can't hear the audio, but I hope everyone else had a chance to see that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell people is in the Scratch community guidelines, if you get a chance, we are using the comments project. I already see a couple comments, the March 6th comments project in our studio. If you're thinking, how do I get to these links? Uh, if you parents have RSVP'd, that will take you to this studio. I put that in the RSVP. In case you're watching this video and you have not, um, you're watching a recording or you just joined and found this and you're like, I don't know where that information is. I'm gonna show you. So when you look at YouTube and these videos, for example, here's a recording um, from our last week, uh, Mars Rover project. If you scroll down, there's a show more. If you click on the show more, there it is. There's the links to where we put comments the actual code launch project we used, lots of information about what we talked about. So just be aware that that's down there and the show more is where you could find it. So if you're joining us and you're like, where is this studio? A, ask your parents to RSVP, but if not, you can still find it in the YouTube link. So I looked at some of the comments already. Uh, we have, uh, I wanted to welcome Fina Fina. We got SP20 Fox online. I think, uh, let's see, random top hat. Hi, LOL. Awesome. We got a couple of people already commenting in here. So say hi to us. We do look at this project uh, from time to time to kind of get your comments and share ideas on what you're creating. So I'm just doing a little refresh. So what we're doing today is we are going to get uh, based on the theme. This is the project we're going to remix. So if you look in the studio, it's right here. It's called one, do one thing today. So that was part of their theme. They have a hashtag do one thing today. And this is some of the artwork from Patrick George uh, to support forest communities. So that's one of the themes uh, that I put in here. And if you remix this, this is what we're going to be doing. You go into this project and I'm going to kind of show you what I've embedded in there um, to start with. There's not any code really. It's just media for you to create using your idea. So you click remix after you've logged in and right away you get remixed into here. And then I'm going to click share also right away. So that just makes it so I know my project is shared and this is your chance to rename it. Um, so I like to rename it uh, uh, my view or my contribution. So start thinking about how you want to build a project. I'm going to show you what we're doing. And once you rename it here later, if you have instructions, you add those here. I click see inside and you'll notice right away uh, there's no code and there is a toucan. And I did put some graphics in the stage. So if you click on the stage and go to backdrops, this is what I wanted you to see. There are four different backdrops. And today with the help of our assistants, I wanted to kind of start coding with this and get their help to code um, an intro screen. Because in Scratch, that's pretty important to have as well, is to have some intro screens. So right away, I put a toucan out front just because I thought that was one of the cool Scratch sprites. But you can add your own here. Do you guys want to help me add? Each of you pick a different animal. I'm going to put one in for each of you. Um, so what about 144? You go first. What do you want to add? I'm, I'm going to add it to mine. You can, on yours, you can add. I just want to add um, something. Maybe a duck? Ooh, a I duck. don't know. That's all right. Ooh, duck. He could be like part of our story. I like that. I'm going to put a duck. V, what do you think? What do you want to add here? So hopefully at home, all of you are also adding some of yours. What was that? A panther. Ooh, a panther. Let's see if there's a panther. There is the panther, yes. Oh, and it has a little bit of animation to it. Also, there's my panther. Oh, that's a great forest animal. All right, Super Coder, what do you want me to add? Give me some feedback here. Forests. Um, think about forests and people. Well, I did see um, a banana, and that, I don't oh. know, that would could be like... Oh, yeah. If there's a monkey, you could put it with the banana. 
There we go. No, that's part of the forest theme. Nice. Yeah. It's part of the ecosystem, right? There are, are uh, ways to, to make a living from growing things in the forest medicines, as we saw in the video. Awesome. So I've got three extra sprites. So you'll notice these sprites were added into here. But what I wanted to do next was to um, start coding the stage. Right. I want an intro screen. So let me just check to see if there's anybody now. If anybody in the comments has any questions, um, let us know in the comments. I wanted to ask you, what are you going to create? Yeah, we were all, hey, Tangled Lights is here. Hey, we got Cooper0412. Hello, welcome, welcome, Fina Fina. Um, so in the comments, uh, let us know, what are you thinking of making? Like, what's your idea? I just love to hear it, like what your plan is. And then we can uh, we can kind of start coding, but I'd love to see what what things you're creating, and we'll share uh, towards the end as well. I'll make sure I save some time to share. We'll go through that. Okay, good. Thanks for joining. It's great to see see all of you. And Tangled Lights, I think this is her first broadcast with us. Awesome. So glad you made it. All right. So let's see. So help me pick. I'm gonna 140 or Super Coder. What screen should I start with? Here's my idea. I want to code this so. There's an intro screen, my sprites are hidden, and and then it fades like in an order from you know one of these, like so which one should I start with? Which one would you start with, like as an intro screen? Um the first thing I people think see. The the white screen with the world wildlife day on it. Got it. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do just to make it easier so it goes in order in the flow, I'm just dragging it. So I want people to realize you can just kind of drag it. All right, V, what would you pick second? We're gonna go from this, then we're gonna fade to the second image. Here's our choices. This one has uh, the people and the beautiful images in their clothing as well. What um, do you think? Three. Number three. Okay, three. so we'll fade into this. All right, so, and 144, what do you think then? What would be next? You kind of get to choose. We're, we're on this one, and then we're going to fade into the third. Which one do you think is the third? I think the Design English, yeah, this one. That one? It's just like Design English, blank, blank. Got it. Awesome. Okay, so we've kind of got them in order. And what I might do is maybe, um, what, maybe flash this one at the end? What do you think? This will be my ending screen, like the big colorful splash ending. Okay, so how, so I'm going to go to the code now. So we kind of arrange the backgrounds in the way we want. Now, if you're at home and you want your own background, here's how you pick it. Choose a backdrop. And again, you can pick uh, different outdoor backdrops as well. So again, this is for you to code. You don't have to follow what we're doing. I just want you to see all the cool tools. There There are some woods and things like that in there as well in, in the studio. But I'm using these pieces of art. So for the code, uh, first thing we've got to do is what? Hide all the sprites? Is that what you would do first, V? What do you think? Yeah. For the intro screen. Okay. So hide, and then I go events. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so people can see. So you'll notice I'm on the toucan sprite, and I'm, I'm giving the computer commands to hide it. So when someone clicks the green flag, it's hidden. Now, instead of going to each sprite and, and starting from scratch which e with the code, I'm going to say I want, to, I want this to go to the duck. I want it to copy to the panther. And I want it to copy to the banana. Okay, so now you'll notice they're all... They all have a little bit of that code. They've, they've received a copy of that. I'm just centering it, kind of zooming in a little bit. Okay, so all of my sprites, if I click the green flag, they're hidden. Okay, so how would you make, let's go back to the stage. So you'll notice I'm kind of going back and forth. So we're giving the computer different commands between the sprites, and now we're controlling the stage. How would you fade this in? What do you think, 144? How would you do it? Maybe you could use the change ghost effect. Change ghost effect. All right. So or we're... If, if backdrops have that, I don't know if backdrops have them. Let's see. Yep. It's a looks command. It's a purple looks command. 
change color effect. Super Coder, have you done this before or no? Have you faded? No? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, v, Maybe what about you? Have you? Enter a P100. Change color. Now, you'll notice it says change color effect. V, have you done this before with fading? I think you have, right? How did you do it? Like, so 144 is like, hey, put it in a loop. There's the ghost effect. So I want people at home to see. You can change color. You can mess around with some, some of these funny effects as well. But I'm doing ghosting, which if I click it, you notice the words are disappearing. So it, it disappears. So what do I do to make it come back? Set ghost effect to 100. Set ghost effect to 100. I mean, set ghost effect to zero. Let's do zero. Oh, whoops, sorry. You said set. I wasn't even listening. Yeah, it's two different commands. My bad. Set ghost effect to 100, right? Or did you say zero? Sorry. Zero. Zero. Okay, that makes it. So when I click that, that made it appear. And then I'm going to change it. What do you think? Do you want me to do like 144 was suggesting, like repeating and Yeah, that you, you repeat it a lot of times with a small number, like one times a hundred, and like with a small break, like delay, then it should come out like nicely. Let's try it. What kind of delay you suggest trying? Point one, I guess. Point one. Let's give it a try. All right. So those of you at home, um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm I'm gonna check that. Whoops. I'm gonna close these other tabs that I don't need. If you have any comments or questions, I want to see what people are saying while we're working on this. Everyone watching the video? Oh, they're busy coding. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like once you start coding, you're like, I don't have time for comments. Okay, let's give this a try. I clicked it. It's running. Whoa. That's a real slow fade. I'm going to. What I about was thinking speeding maybe it up? You could have repeat 50 and then duplicate that repeat block and then just take out the weight point 0.1 and then so have it be a repeat 50. Ooh, I'm, yeah, I'm experimenting. So at home experiment with kind of the effect you want. So this, I, I did 50 times five, which is don't even have to do it that many times. What if I try it without the delay and do 50 times 2? That's 100. That's not too bad. That's pretty. That's already slowed it down, V, I think. So I'm going to take the delay out. So I'm going to throw, if you ever want to throw a block away. So here's my fade. So now what, right? So I've faded that one out, but I want the other one coming in, right? You could have a broadcast message. Okay, and the idea is what? If I do events, broadcast, uh, but I'm in the backdrops already. This could make the animals appear. What would you yeah. uh, broadcast? What do make you the animals appear. So you always say, uh, animals appear? <laughs> animals appear. Yeah, it's nice to name your, your broadcast messages. So I found that in the events. And we created our own by clicking new message and calling it animals appear. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go to the toucan. And it says, hey, when I receive the message, what's nice is we're already in the events control. So I go to the toucan. And so now he needs to appear. And what do you want him to say? Let's have him say something. So remember, we're trying to share a message. Um, so here are some ideas. So forest loss, to give those at home, right, threatens the livelihoods of millions of people, indigenous people in rural communities. So our messages could be about sharing the idea so people know about it, our impact. How many people live adjacent or in forests? A lot of people probably don't realize that 350 million people live in and adjacent. Almost all forests are inhabited, so our projects could share information that we're learning here with others, right? So they watch your Scratch project, and you're like, not only is it kind of fun, you can play around with it, but you can actually share meaningful information to help people. And this one's important for wildlife is 
80% of our terrestrial wildlife, our forest is their home. So I think that's another um, idea for people. So um, let me go back to our remix project. So what do you want the toucan to say? Anybody have any suggestions? Supercoder, what do you think? What would you have? He's going to be the first one that appears. I'm going to have him say something. What do you Maybe suggest? Maybe something like, uh, uh, today is um, wildlife day? Or... Ooh, nice. Um, oh, how about, did you know about World Wildlife Day? World Wild Life Day. Ooh, how's that? That look all right? So what I'm going to do is, since I, I need that for all of the four animals, what do you think about staging it so every time we change the screen, two new objects appear. Not all of them appear at once. What do you think, V? That sound good? Which So which one with the toucan should I have appear? We've got the panther, duck, and, and the bananas. Well, you could have the panther appear and try to eat the toucan. <laughs> Protect the wildlife. Yeah, I know. That's the natural ecosystem. I wonder if panthers really do. Now, now you would be curious. Do panthers really eat toucans? I bet you if they could catch one, they probably would, right? Uh, all right, so let's do that. that uh, so we're going to make the panther appear. So I'm going to drag this code to the panther. Now, I, want, I guess I'll show you a hint. You'll see this thing jiggle a little bit, left and right. That tells you it's kind of lined up, right? You'll see it jiggle, and then I let it go. So the code is still here, but let's see if it worked. I go to the panther. And there it is. It made a copy. All right, so now the panther is going to appear. What is it going to say? It's not going to say, did you know about World Wildlife Day? That's what the two can say. 144, what do you think? Following that theme? So the panther is kind of interested in hungry and sees that two can. Maybe the panther can just jump on the two can, and then, but then the two can swivels away, and then he pops into a pool. How about I say, we need these forests so I can eat. <laughs> and then another thing that says, um, yummy toucan? What do you think? Or the toucan looks yummy? <laughs> that toucan looks yummy. All right. Let's, let's test it so far. Let's click the green flag. Here we go. We got our nice fade. Oh, that was pretty nice. That was pretty fast. Like if I click the green flag, boop. Hmm, we need these forests. Oh, okay. So what are we missing? We're kind of, let's, the, we want the panther. So you notice my panther, I kind of want it maybe down here. And we're going to fade to the other background. And we want to turn our sprite around. So you notice the panther is not facing the way we'd like. So what, what do you do, uh, V, for turning it around? Well, like, what's your favorite way? Do you use the blocks of code to, to change the pointing direction, or do you do this down here? Yeah, I use the one in the, like, bottom. Okay, so his, his suggestion is what? We click on Panther, and you click on the direction, and then what? Because if I flip it, and I say go minus 90, he's upside down. Now, that could be a pretty good effect if you have a bat hanging from a tree. CK, what do you say? Supercoder? CJK. Um, I'm pretty sure if you go to costumes, there's a it can flip it around. Oh, let's see. Let me see. Um, looks? Oh, 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 in the costumes itself. Yes. Yeah, there is. Um, yep. Multiple ways. I love it. All right. So there's this way here, down here. And we're even talking about three ways. The other one is he says, hey, you can go to the costume. And there is a command here that says flip vertical. And then you have to remember I uh, to flip, uh, sorry, flip horizontal to flip them all. 
And I think I'm going to point this back to 90 since I flipped it. I'm going to go kind of back to the 90 original. What I do is I usually um, do a point in direction negative 90 and then set rotation style left to right. Ooh, awesome. So we've just, I, I love this because we've just found three different ways to accomplish what we want. And all of you use kind of different ways. So I like it because some situations, if you know about all three, when you're coding your programs, you can decide which way might work best or they may be the same, may not matter. So what 144 was describing, uh, since I've already flipped it, he's talking about this motion command down here. You can point in a direction and this also lets you give commands to a sprite. And that's important when you're playing a game and the direction is constantly changing. So then this number will change and, and it could follow and change as the game evolves. Yeah, and so, also like you should set rotation style left, right, right after you do that. So if you scroll down, you'll see set rotation style left, right, and then you can see. And then you can, when you do that, then it'll point in that direction. Yeah. So you'll notice the rotation style is towards the bottom here of the blue command. So you could say, hey, I, I want a sprite that doesn't rotate and it won't let it rotate. Left, right, just make sure it doesn't flip upside down. Awesome. I like I like having like so many different ways to be able to do it. OK, so we've got the toucan. What we didn't do is we've got to go back to the stage and we faded out world wildlife, but we wanted to fade into this. So. How do we do that? Should we, um, what code do I need here? So you notice I'm on my stage. What do you think? How would you do it? We broadcasted for these two animals to appear. So that's the first message. V, how would you do it? Any suggestions? Well, I guess you could broadcast a second message and then um, have that a second one uh, set ghost effect at 100 and then slowly subtract ghost effect so that it'll fade in. OK, so right now I, I, I didn't tell the program which backdrop to start on. So I probably should do that right like at the very beginning since we're going to be changing backdrops. So that very first one was WWDE. So I'm going to add a command that says the very beginning, switch it to that, right? That way we always make sure it starts with that and it fades out. We broadcast the animals appearing, but now we just need to switch to the next one, right? Since we put them in order, one, two, three, and four, the order we wanted, we could just use this next backdrop, right? Now you'll notice since we faded it out, V, I know you were saying we could add a message, but I don't think we even need a message, right? Because we, we basically told the computer to go to the next backdrop, but it's hidden. So we need this code again. We need a repeat. Since we like the 50 with the ghost effect, we're going to say minus 2 this time. So we do have to repeat 50 times, but... We need to change the ghost effect by minus two to make it appear. Let's test it out. Oops, I did color effect instead of ghost. I might have messed up the colors. Yeah, I totally messed up the colors. <laughs> Whoops, I did a change color effect. How do I fix that? <laughs> what do you suggest? Like once you start you can, like. You can just click the green flag again and it'll set the green and then it'll set the color effect. Oh. Yeah, so I want people to see. Yeah, so here's. Because here's some cool effects, right? Uh, you could pixelate, right? It depends on what effect. I like the pixelate. That could be a cool way to fade even. Um, there are different effects. We've been using ghost. But once you kind of mess up the background, you're like, wait, how do I get it back? There's a clear graphics command here. And if I just click that, it takes it back to the original size, colors, everything. So I'm going to also put that at the top in case I do what I just did, which is accidentally kind of mess it up. So let's try this. Let's see if it works. So we start with the world wildlife. Day. Well, I didn't do green flag. Let's do green flag so our animals are hidden. It's playing through. So you notice our two animals kind of talked over each other. 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Maybe you can do the think blocks, or wait. You can do wait, and then a think for the um, panther. Yeah, I'm going to have the panther say, um, wait two seconds, cause I know, or maybe three, because I know the toucan's saying something for two. Maybe I'll just do two. So, yeah, we added a wait. I'm going to throw these away for now. People kind of saw that idea, I think. And so it waits. Um, and instead of saying, I like that idea, we're changing it to a looks that says think. So now there's a little bubble instead of the panther saying it out loud so the toucan hears him. We're going to have, the, uh, we're gonna have it say this. So it waits a couple. Hmm, we need these for us so I can eat. That toucan looks yummy. So let's go back to the fading of the stages. Let's get those. So we're kind of going back to the stage. So the code's going to get kind of, I'm going to have to shrink it. It's going to get kind of long because we're kind of going in a row. We're switching backdrops. We're going to need this ghost effect multiple times, right? So I'm duplicating it. Right click, duplicate. So those of you watching at home, that's what I did. Because I know this, this makes it appear, and then it stays there. And if I say change ghost effect by two, it makes it disappear again. So it, it'll appear. How long should I have it stay? What do you think, Supercoder? When it changes to this green one, have it stay for a couple of seconds? How long do you think? Mm, one or Two seconds. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is our, I'm just testing the backgrounds. There it is staying for two, and then we'll ghost it away. Oops. Oh, I think I, I messed that up. Hold on. I don't think I, I already had the ghosting away. Now we need the next backdrop. So I hope everybody at home kind of sees what we're doing. We're basically alternating between ghosting to appear, and then changing backdrops. Is that our last one? I think it is. Let's do a test. Here's full screen. Before I do that, let's see if anybody had a chance to do comments. It's not fading for you. So Cooper's got some problems. Cooper, did you fix it? Cooper0412. Maybe you, can make you should it faster. try refreshing your screen a couple seconds after you finish reading. See if he responded. Got it. Good suggestion. Um, maybe, so maybe Cooper fixed it. That was 13 minutes ago, so we were kind of doing it. Yeah, so Tangled Lights, if you can code along. Effect, uh -huh. Maybe you just did change color effect or like change pixelate effect or maybe you didn't put it in a repeat loop. Yeah, he might have. Double check. He might have fixed it because that was a little while ago um, that he had a problem with that. So, Cooper, let us know if you're still stuck. And, yeah, Tangled Lights, we're, we're coding along. So if you can remix, what we did was we remixed the project that was Do One Thing Today. So we're kind of sharing our message about saving the planet. Um, and also we're kind of going through these forests and how they sustain life and people. Okay, so now, V, we need another message, right? We need the other four, we need the other ones to appear. How about when we get to this last screen, um, we go into a jungle, and that's when the duck and the bananas appear. So we will need one more stage. Let's do that. Um, oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong window. I'm going to add a stage. Is there a jungle? Is there a jungle? There is a jungle forest. There's this green forest one. How about we do this one? What do you think? Which of these? What would you choose? I think probably the jungle because it's more based on the jungle. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's our, if you noticed, I added that at the very end of our list. So we're going to change one more backdrop. 
I'm testing this code just by clicking it. So we start with World Wildlife Day, it fades to this, they start talking. A toucan looks yummy, it goes to the next picture. Oh, we needed to give it a little bit of a delay, so I missed, I missed another one of these. Let me duplicate that. And we need maybe a wait. Let's just wait one second. So we're using all the images. We wait one second. And this fades it and we go to the next backdrop. So we could use another message at the very end. So hopefully people at home are seeing. So if you give the computer a sequence, an order of commands, we're fading. So it, it ghosted out, and then I need to ghost back in. So it's kind of like you always need a double set of blocks. You could put this in a function if you guys wanted to create your own block, since we are doing something over and over again. We could do that in a future episode because that would be kind of a cool thing to learn. Okay, and then we need a message at the very end of all that. We're going to create another broadcast, and this time we need a new message. I'm going to call it More Animals. So when it broadcasts that, the duck appears when I receive more animals. So this is how you can manage lots of sprites. More animals and it will show. And I need that same code, so I'm not I'm just gonna drag it to the banana. And you notice the banana jiggles a little bit. Is it there? Yep, it's there. Okay, I'm gonna check comments again. Let's see how people are doing. Yes. Okay. He got it fixed. Awesome. Thanks for letting us know, Cooper. Woohoo. SP20 Fox. Yeah, you could fade it. I, I know. You, uh, inst we had a delay in there, point 0.1, and you could do zero one. I like your idea. I just pulled it out completely. So I think it was simulating pretty much what delay you had. Um, and hopefully, Tangled Lights, you were able to. Uh, great to see you. Fina, Fina, hopefully, you're able to remix the project. Random Top Hat, you as well. And uh, I know you like to add cool artwork into your project, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you have. All right, so we wanted to have, uh, let's test this out. You guys were going to help me. We were going to have the, the panther kind of chase the toucan a little bit. And it fades into this one, and then it goes into the, oh, then it goes into this one. Oh, there's the. The duck and the bananas. So that was supposed to be our final one. So I just realized um, I made a mistake. Fix the code. Fix the code, code, code. I know. I got to fix it. So instead of just going to the next backdrop, Remember, we added the jungle. We're going to put the jungle here so it does go to the jungle one. Because we added the, a new order. Okay, so let's code. Uh, the duck was kind of on top of the panther, so I'm going to kind of move it to a new starting location. We've got our bananas here. And V was talking about having the panther um, start approaching. Let's see, is there a walking... So he's kind of laying down to begin with. We can have him stand up and start going towards the toucan. And the toucan has costumes for flying. So let's have the toucan start flying. What do you think? Let's add the code for that. Who wants to help me with that part? Supercoder V144. I will. Okay. All right. So I'm on the toucan. So this is a starting location. How do you want uh, to make the effects for the flying then? 
So in the costumes of this particular animal, yeah. um, there's the flying animations. So you can use those um, to simulate flying and you can have it slowly rise up also using the change X and Y. Okay. So I'm going to the looks and what we'll do is we'll, in the beginning, it's the, it's the Toucan A costume even though it's hidden. So it, we tell the computer to always start with that. And then this is the starting location. And then you want it to start then switching uh, costumes between the two different ones, right? Between B and C. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Right? Between B and C. Okay. Um, and then this is where I'm going to use SP20 Foxes. She's got the point one is good and the point one. So now if I click this, that's the flapping wings. Point one's kind of fast, maybe point two. So if I just, just to test this in a, whoops, just to test it in a forever loop, let's see what it looks like. That's not bad. It's kind of a fast flapping. Do you like it fast or slower? I would say maybe point you could three. do point fifty. Point fifty is really going well for me. Point five. Point fifty. Yeah, you can do point five. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I like that slow fat, uh, slow flap effect. But I'm gonna go with a little faster because I think he's. In our case, I'm going to have him trying to get away from the panther. So so that that works pretty well. Now, V, what do you think? Do we want to make it interactive where it it follows the mouse or we, we set it on a glide path? What do you think? I think you should, like, follow the mouse so that it's a little bit interactive. Got it. So we could tell people. Okay. So what we could do is inside this forever loop, since it's going to be flying, there's a motion that says point towards, right? Or glide to. You could kind of glide to the mouse pointer and kind of glide slowly towards it. Do you want to try that command? Or do you want to do uh, move towards? I think glide towards mouse com my mouse pointer would be the best. Let's try it. I think um, there's positives and negatives for both. If we do glide, if we do glide to mouse pointer and make the time very short, let's say 0.1. Let's just watch what happens. And I put it inside the forever loop. It jumps too fast, right? So let's see if I glide one second. Oops. But you notice what happens is if we put the glide in here, right? The computer does the glide, but it's stopped flapping. That makes sense, right? So it's almost like we do want it to be doing, so this is kind of making it so it glides and the flapping stops. So that's the tricky part of, of having something simultaneously happening. That's why I, I like it. Sometimes you can have it point in the direction of the mouse, right? So we say, you know, point towards the mouse and then move in that direction. So let's, let's try that. I'll, I'll show you what I'm thinking. So I don't know, have you done it that way before? So if you point in direction, you don't want to fix 90, but we're going to make this number. This is where in sensing. So this is, this is, um, oh, maybe I, maybe I'm thinking of something else as well. Wait a minute. Mouse. Oh, there's a mouse X. I think I can point in direction. Oh, point towards the mouse pointer. Never mind. Sorry. There's an actual command. My bad. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure there's the command. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was in sensing. My bad. There's actually point under point direction 90. You just say point towards the mouse pointer. 
and then have it move a little bit, right? So it'll constantly with each flap, and this is where you decide how fast, if I click that code now, wow, oh, it's not even moving. Let's do five but steps. You could have, yeah, it needs to move. It's not moving towards the pointer. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing is it's moving five pixels each time, but that's not enough, right? In terms of faster, here's 15. Oh, maybe I didn't enter 15, sorry. There we go. I'm trying to test it. It still seems a lot slower than I'd expect. Let me see if I'm doing something wrong. Let's give maybe it a try. Maybe try 80 steps. 80 is huge. Let's see what I, that that'll make it jump. Let's try 30. Let me try in between. Let's go. I like your suggestion to keep experimenting. That's what I do as well. Oh, there you go. Like he's already flying. Oh, that's not bad. What do you think? I know how to make it move. <laughs> um, we can make him go not upside like down. Isolated movement. I know how to make it be like move that forever. You're gonna need a um. You're gonna need a new for animals block and a new forever block, and then just put, and then just put um the move thirty steps point towards mouse pointer in it. Yeah, as a as a separate forever block. Yeah, I agree with you. That's how we could separate it. I'm just trying to test this effect. Do you like the toucan flying upside down, or do you want to make it so it doesn't rotate upside down? I'm clicking here to stop it from rotating. Let's see if anybody's been able to share what they've done so far in the studio. I'm curious to see if people have been able to, to share. Um, whoops, let me go back to the studio. If you get a chance, add your projects. Ooh, Tangled Lights has started to add uh, hers in there. Um, since I'm going to show you, since I started creating this with the assistant coaches here, we've got the fading background. Um, I'm going to share as well into the studio. So if I go to the studio and you want to add your project, you click add and there's my, there's my project. I'll add that in there. So if you ever, w, that's the WA20 bat student um you can kind of see what that is i'm going to start sharing in a couple of minutes how about um uh, three more minutes i have the toucan kind of flying away right i made it a little smaller so it can kind of fly through the forest it is following the mouse i like 144 suggestion uh, if you want to try that, he's talking about having a, a separate um, um, forever loop. I'm going to leave this one the way it is for right now and let everybody at home experiment. I wanted the panther now to also, and you'll notice I'm changing the sizes of some of these sprites to 80 and kind of trying to shrink them a little bit so then they can actually chase. So for the panther, the code on the panther, how do we want to do that to chase the, uh, do you want it to glide towards the toucan? What do you think? Super coder, how would you do it? What do you think? Do you have any ideas? So the, the toucan's following the mouse pointer. So whoever's controlling the mouse pointer, uh, the toucan's following that. Maybe have the panther um, move like a couple, um, uh, like um, ten steps uh, towards the direction. Uh, well. Towards the toucan. Yeah. Okay. So I I go into motion. There's the again we're using that point and direction, and this time I'm making it point towards the toucan you can see that you can point towards any any of those and then we're going to say move and let's try you can experiment at home is it you know here's 15 steps 
And if you put that in a, let's test a forever loop. And after he says that toucan looks yummy, that's when he starts going after the toucan. Let's see how that works. Did you know about Wildlife Day? We need these four so I can eat. That toucan looks yummy. And you notice the toucan was like, whoa, that, the leopard's too fast. I can't get away. Uh, let's fix that. Let's fix that. The panther, sorry. The panther moved 15 steps in a forever loop. So maybe we either do uh, fewer steps or we add a little bit of delay. So I, I'm going to try the fewer steps. That tends to slow the graphics down quite a bit. Um, what do you think? Let's give that a try. Were you guys able to share your projects or save them? That's interesting that the toucan's not, the toucan has stopped coming towards my, uh, towards my mouse pointer. I think it's because you didn't press the green flag. Oops. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong window. My bad. Let's see. Here's our fading intros. Toucan looks yummy. Here comes the leopard. Yeah, so you could create a game here where you, you need to fly the toucan away. Can you get away from the leopard? It's, it's a pretty good speed race at this point. <laughs> fly, toucan, fly. <laughs> All right, so... Um, I like that. So what message do we wrap up with the duck, right? Is like in terms of sharing kind of the messages we wanted to get, like um, we need the forests, you know, 80% of all terrestrial life, forests are home. What if the toucan says that? What do you think about adding that into our, our piece? So when he appears, he at least shares that message. Forests are home to, I want to get the wording right. What do you think? 80% um, of all terrestrial life. Eighty percent of all. And we'll do that for a longer, like 10 seconds. So when it finally appears, it kind of says that while they're going. Um, and then the banana, I think the banana would be funny if the banana says, I'm glad panthers do not eat bananas. Panthers are non-vegetarians. <laughs> are non-vegetarians. I'll do that for four. There we go. So that way all of our sprites are saying something. And let's see, I'm going to make sure I do a save now. And let's take a look at, let's see how people are doing. So hopefully everyone's seen how to share into the studio again you add projects and your projects will appear uh, down here at the bottom so add what you've been working on today so i was going to check out let's do a quick uh sharing let's see what we've got here i see tangled lights i don't know if uh, any of you are still working on yours let's see what tangled lights looks like she starts with the forest oh she may still be working on hers tangled lights are, ooh she's got the zebra the animated bear the fox and the toucan nice job tangled lights i like your choice of wild animals oh and then the bear disappears the zebra disappears 
And the toucan's flying. Oh, and it goes to World Wildlife Day as her wrap-up screen. Help the forest save the animals. Hey, you did it. You created a great message. I'm tempted to press that button. <laughs> I see that green button up there. I like the way I decorate I see it. I'm like, click, click. Very nice. Awesome. I don't know if you guys get a chance. Uh, give her project a star. Make the world a better place. Go and ask if you can help out online or in person. Great message and coding to share it to you. Nice. I like that. I like the way you end on the World Wildlife Day. That's kind of a cool way. I've been doing like fade in at the beginning and you did the adding at the end. I like that. Uh, let's see if there's some more. Hold on. Um, oh, I think I just... Ooh, there's frogs. Oh, there are more. Yay, hold on. Oh, Gimo's got more. Sorry. Everybody's added their in. Yay, good, good, good. Um, hold on. Let me go back to... Thanks for adding these to the studios. All right, 144, I'm going to ask you to see... What do you think? Let's see, I'm going to go in order. Um, we did Tangled Lights. Let's check out Gimo's. My ch oh, there it is. It's loading. All right, 144. What do you think? Remix this. Work in progress. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done that. Did you know about World Wildlife Day? Oh, he's got the panther saying, oh, the toucan looks yummy. Oh, nice. He's got it. Oh, the panther's doing a slow turn. And he's got the fading all the way through. Uh, did you know about World Wildlife Day? Awesome. He's still working on it. I like it. The panther's doing a slow turn. I like the way the panther's turning. <laughs> Good job, Gimo. Thanks for sharing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to to be able to play more projects. I'm gonna add comments later. Otherwise, uh, let's see. Nice. So we got Gimos. That's my bat one. Fina Fina 15. Frogs jumping. Oh, was that from the earlier one? I think that was when we did the frog project. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one. I think she just added it again to the studio. Yeah, I think I think that might have. Yeah, that was from the earlier. Uh, to remind everybody, if you've missed our previous videos, we did a uh, theme from National Geographic Kids. Or maybe they just... Or I think maybe, they had missed it. I, yeah, I think they missed it and then... I agree. I agree. All right. Uh, Super Coder, what do you think of foxes here? Let's get your comments. Did you know about world wildlife today? Oh, look. I like that it looks like a sign. Yeah. Like, it looks like World Wildlife Day, March 3rd. And, yeah. like, so when they walk up, they can just see the sign. They're like, what is it? What is that sign doing? Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome, right? Because it's embedded in the forest. And and it's kind of probably hidden. a create clone of myself. It probably uses create clone of myself. Yeah, let's see. Here's the panther in the tree too, and the toucan kind of shares them. I like that. Well, like you said, it's kind of cool that um, she put it inside as part of the forest. Nice job. Nice job. Like I said, I'll, I'll do more comments um, later so we can kind of get a chance to play everybody so we don't go too far over. Let's see, I wanted to get a chance. Oh, you're, here's yours. Oh, Tango Lights, this is an older one from Tango. I'm not going to play that one today. I'm playing the ones that you created today, Tangled Lights. So I've played yours down here. But thanks for putting it in the studio. All right, Forest. Super Coder, do you have one you're, you're sharing yet, or are you still working on one? This one's still in um, process. Well, I, would, well, I was um, kind of thinking of, well, I'm still working on it, but I was also like um, watching, uh, being on a meeting, like seeing, um, like thinking of some ideas. Yeah. I haven't done the second, okay. I haven't changed the second survives in the world record. Got it. So here he's got the panther. So yeah, super coder. That's good. Cause I think, um, uh, it's important for everybody take time to process your ideas. This, Live stream is not like, oh, I can create a project and share everything and be done at once. Everything's work in progress. So I'm just sharing like where people are at now. So I definitely feel exactly like you. I don't feel like my project's finished at all. 
I was trying to use some ideas from each of you and kind of get started. You see uh, 144 added like second survived and world records. So 144, my only question to you is think what ideas do you have? Can you embed the message to share about World Wildlife Day? Like how can you add that into your project so people kind of understand like you've got the fading screens. Oh, you have that at the beginning. Sorry, we need these for it. All right, you do have that. Got it. I, I'm sorry. My, my bad. I missed. You have it fading into the forest, and then it starts the game with the score. That's kind of cool. I like the way you don't have the variables appearing until then. Um, how did you do that? I want to see how you did it. Whoa. It's, oh, you, you would do a hide variable. So, yeah, for some of you that are doing scores and things, I think that's important. A lot of times we'll create a variable in class, and right away it's there. But I love this effect that it, it, it faded the messages and the graphics. So 144, my bad. I was like, yeah, that was all in the beginning. And then it played into a game. So, uh, and he's adding like a world record and score and he's still working on it. So I, I think having that um, mixed in with the message is, is really fun too. So yeah, super coder, keep working on your ideas. Don't worry uh, for all of you at home that are still um, kind of, creating that's so so normal for all of us to <laughs> take yeah time. the one that um you just um played was kind of the thing that i wanted to do yeah yeah so. you should don't look at his code and do it your way right like that's what i like is seeing like because your 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 view of how you do it is different and that's why i like to have uh everyone kind of creating and following their ideas awesome well um gosh we're gonna have to Get ready. Thanks for sharing. For parents, uh, to contact me. You can contact me via email at codeon at penucation.org. Uh, if you haven't RSVP'd or signed up for the newsletter, we have events I have coming up for spring breaks here in March and April, depending on your school. I'm going to have Monday through Friday events. So that's for parents. Check in the newsletter. I'll be posting some things on the website. 144 V Super Coder, you want to say one last final thing to everyone? Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Right. Applause. Almost forgot code on. SP20 Fox would be like, what are you doing? You forgot code on, everyone. And uh, I'm not going to. She always does this, too. I can't I can't quite do it. But 144 has got it. Super cutter. Almost got it. I know. It's kind of hard. You got to practice. I'm not good at it. We'll see you next time. Keep coding, keep creating. Have a great weekend. Next Saturday, we're back. See you then.